We're standing at the top of the spiral staircase of Casamia. It's a 1932 house designed by Eric Tech Ross Lord for Rifle Family. This is a very good example of the large estates that you can find on Southwest Marine Drive, a very popular neighborhood for people with lots of money who wanted estates much larger than what you could buy anywhere in Shaughnessy. Southwest Marine had a number of very grand houses. Casamia is probably the grandest, done in the Spanish colonial revival style, red tile roofs outside, lots of stucco, carpet windows, very much looking like a refugee from California. The house is huge and the grounds are even larger, once extending almost to the face of the river. Homes like this were private for the family, but also perform a very big public function. Many of these grand homes had public spaces that you could access from the outside without going upstairs. This house is extraordinary for its ballroom and promenade. Here we have a gold leaf room, a stage for the orchestra, a sprung dance floor, extraordinary tile bathrooms, the billiard room, and even an extraordinary bar. The house has a split personality upstairs. It's all Spanish colonial revival, lots of ironwork, um, rounded windows, painted ceilings in the dome of the staircase. Lots of interesting detail. We come downstairs, here we are, 1930s Hollywood drama. Gold leaf on the walls, streamlined plaster work, mirrors with the frozen fountain deco motif, etc. So here we have this public space that's extraordinary up to the minute design. Upstairs, the family wanted to make the impression that they'd been around for a little bit, so you have that large Spanish colonial style. Ross Lord, the architect, was a very interesting architect. He could design pretty much anything he turned his hand to, from little hobbit houses out on uh, King Edward to extraordinary streamlined structures and then extraordinarily large homes like this.